Hello guys, welcome back to Tech Projects. I am back with another video. So in this video, we are going to see how to create image picker in Android Studio. So we are going to create image picker using image picker library, which is exclusively available for Android 13. But you can use the same code in Android 11, Android 12, and Android 13. So from Android 13, you need to use this to pick an image from Android phone. So let before starting the video, let's let me show a demo what we are going to create. So for this, I open my phone and I am opening the app which I created so this is image picker tutorial so now if you tap on this so you can see it directly open the bottom sheet here so this is the newly for Android 13 but you can also use the same code for Android 11 Android 12 and Android 13 and below Android 11 you need to use different code so here you can see if I pick any image it is displaying here so if, if I can select another image you can see it is also showing here so we are going to create this thing in Android studio so don't further delay now let's start the video if you don't like the video till now then please like the video if you don't subscribe the channel till now then please subscribe the channel so now let's start the video so first of all i open my android project so you can see this is the project image picker tutorial and it is a completely empty project so let's start working on it so first of all let me change the constraint layout to relative layout not relative linear layout and just add a gravity center here we have gravity center and gravity center then after this what we need we need two things image view and a button so i just take an image view here with this image view of 300 dp is fine and height of image view is 300 dp is fine but you can give any height and width according to your own design so now i give any id so id image view then you can give scale type center crop this is done now below this what i need i need a button so i just take a button here and uh, wrap content wrap content id pick image you can give any name to your id then you can show any text pick image from here and now I am giving just a margin top to create a space between image view and button 50 dp. And that's it. Now close this. So our UI part is done. So you can create design according to your own design or according to your own application. Now let's move on to the main code. So first of all we need to typecast the button and um, image view into our local variable so that we can use it. So I just declare two variables private latent where image view and the type of this variable is image view type. Second variable is private latent in where bt pick image button so the type of this is button now assign the xml ids into our kotlin id so image view equal find view id r dot id dot image view and pt pick image equal find view id r dot id dot bt pick image this one so you can see it is showing error but don't worry when you run this project or when you sync this project this error will automatically gone so don't worry now if someone click on this button bt pick image so set on click list no so if someone click on this button we need to call the function pick image you can give any function name according to your own choice so just create this function now inside this function we will going to write the main code so to pick the image in android 13 we need to create an intent first here so just type here intent equal intent create an object of intent and the type of the intent is media store dot action pick images so you can see you need to use this now there is a lots of other thing as well you can also pick image capture to open the camera you can also open the same picker for video picking as well so you just need to pass the intent dot set type in media mp4 and by default we are using here action pick images so to pick the images and you can also select multiple images as well now that's done now after this what we need we need to just call start activity for result and inside this pass your intent and any request code so i am just passing here 111101 you can pass anything so just type here on activity result now after this what we need to see here so we need to check first if everything goes okay or not so if result code equal equal result okay so if result is okay then we need to just check if request code equal equal 101 because this is code to pick the image so if it is 101 then we everything is done successfully so we just need to take the image uri so well you are i just created a variable uri 
and just pass here data dot data. So it will give the URI to us to our image view of our image view which we pick. So image view dot set image URI and inside this you just need to pass this URI and that's done. So finally guys this is run ready. Now let's run this application and see whether it is working or not and you can see this error also gone. So let's see. So project is building let's wait for a little bit. So project build successful so let's see. So I just pick this image and I pick this image. So you can see guys our project is working fine. So I hope guys you learn something new in this video. If you have any question, if you have any query, just comment down below. I will try to give the answer of every comment. Please like the video. Please subscribe the channel. Please share the video. Thank you guys. See you soon in next amazing video. Thank you.